How's it going guys, this is Zedai here. So I wanted to bring in this conversation relating to PlayStation upcoming showcase. Now this information unfortunately is not concrete, there's no confirmation relating to it. But we have heard a lot of credible leakers regarding of the next upcoming showcase from PlayStation is to be expected at the very end of May. So just in a few days, if not actually should have been even today, in fact, there should have been at least some sort of an announcement this week, but yet we did not get anything. So it's not actually quite odd. Usually, and at least that's how, if we can even follow it through, <laughs> PlayStation likes to uh, announce that they will be having a showcase a week before, well, inevitable of the showcase, uh, you know, launch and of course showcasing plenty of their upcoming games to be looking forward to. But this time around, since we already are coming up to the very last of the week of the May, it's just like, where's the time for the marketing so-called, right? Where's that one week prior of the announcement and then the release of the showcase? And so we already on, on Friday, 24th, right? So basically there's just nothing going on from PlayStation. Now there's also a possibility when I'm uploading this video, there might be some kind of announcement. I would not be surprised because PlayStation is very unpredictable as of recently. No, that's a lie. They're very unpredictable for a couple of years at this point, especially starting like I believe 2019, 2020. You just never know what to expect from them. Of course, we always knew and known what to expect coming from PlayStation during during the times of the E3 shows, but now that the E3 is dead, RIP, then there are plenty of other uh, companies, but other competitions also doing the same, same thing just as the PlayStation doing. But the thing what they're doing differently, that they're at least announcing their showcases, their reveals and stuff like that prior, like about a month or two even. In PlayStation case, well, they stay silent. They stay silent for a very long time. And sometimes they finally announce like a showcase, like for example, last year that they had and a week prior of the showcase uh, release itself, right? And so it just kind of makes you wonder what's going on, right? And now there are some rumblings and rumors, for example, Jeff Grubb also reported that there will be a showcase or a state of play from PlayStation coming at the end of May. And of course, there's plenty of people constantly barraging, barraging on him with questions relating where is that showcase? Now he even admitted himself and said like, okay, I do not know if this is gonna be showcase or just a state to play. If it's gonna be a state of play, unfortunately, it's not gonna be as grand as big as it would have been for the showcase. But if it is a showcase, well, like I mentioned already at the beginning of the commentary, like, why did they not announce it now, since the last week is coming, and yet we don't know when it's coming in terms of the showcase. Now, there still is a possibility, at least I've heard some rumblings, that next the next following 15 uh, days, there will be some things that we should expect. For example, an Astro Bot game will be released specifically for the PlayStation 5. It's even been mentioned that it's not coming on PSVR 2. I'm actually glad about that. Not the fact that it's not coming on PSVR 2, but just that you actually will be able to play this on PlayStation 5 because I really liked Astrobot game on the, uh, you know, the release of the PlayStation 5 console that it was available for all of the consoles as long as you purchase them. And so I may be kind of expecting the same thing would happen, well, say for the PlayStation 5 Pro and maybe they want to do the same thing. And I think it would be, well, I think it would be a good thing. I do, I do not know, of course, how big they'll go with this time. I hope this can be like larger in scope. And I hope it's going to be similar in terms of the memories and things that you'll be looking forward to and things to, to look back as well regarding of the PlayStation ecosystem, Sony and all that great stuff. It was a fantastic game, got the platinum, 100% trophies. It was, it was genuine, genuine treat to go through that game. And genuinely, the game was fantastic as well in terms of its gameplay. Very, very well done. And so, of course, now looking at the situation, kind of makes you wonder, where is that showcase? Like, where is the announcements? What kind of games perhaps maybe we could expect as well? And yet, yeah, sure, there are plenty of things to be looking forward to. And one of them, it's a little bit kind of odd, the way we didn't hear much about, is a little game called Concord. It is still slated to be coming out this year. Can you believe that? And we haven't heard for, from it for like months, if not years at this point, it feels like, right? And so it just you'd be wondering what's their next decision why did they not actually do anything in the state of play uh, back in january i believe it was from playstation and reveal something related to concord but instead we only got this teaser trailer of concord 
and that we know it's got a very heavy inspiration of uh, Ga Guardians of the Galaxy. It's a first person live action shooter. Unfortunately, because I'd much rather third person perspective games, like I'm not really expecting this game to pop off. And perhaps that's the reason PlayStation already knows. That's why they're not really trying to do too much marketing on this game. But again, that's a little bit broad, if that makes sense, because we're still not there yet. So I can't be saying and relating to marketing. This is not Hellblade 2 situation that there was basically no marketing done for that game and the game is dead on arrival basically. Even though the game certainly did, well, anyway, it didn't. But the game is not very good. Hell, I'm talking about Hellblade 2 and how it released. Especially Microsoft completely abandoned it. It's just, wow, what were they doing, seriously? Unbelievable. But anyway, uh, I'm moving away from the conversation of the main point. What I want to mention is relating that Concord. I'm not really expecting much out of it, but again, I could be wrong because I was not really expecting much out of Helldivers 2. Because seriously, who would have known that Helldivers 2 would have been such a major hit? And genuinely, genuinely fantastic. Uh, I think Arrowhead Studios, right? Like, they did a fantastic job and they still are doing a fantastic job with that game. Seriously, kudos, congratulations. Now on Concord, uh, let's just hope that actually will be the same case here that it's a hidden gem, so to say. But nevertheless, we have to find out more relating it, especially the gameplay. I really want to see the gameplay of this game. Now nevertheless, there are still other games to be looking forward to from the showcase. Where's the question relating to Silent Hill 2 Remake? Like, what's going on with that? Now, uh, we did hear some rumors, some rumblings as well, that the main character basically is getting a little bit of a... You know facelift and basically things is being changed around perhaps some improvements have been implemented there's some rumors regarding the lego horizon game as well i want to say about the horizon games there's so many of them coming now there's an mmo horizon game a lego horizon game there's a multiplayer uh, lego no, sorry, multiplayer Horizon game specifically coming from Guerrilla Games. Guerrilla Games was also working on a third uh, main installment of the Horizon game. It's a little bit too much, and yet there's also a Horizon Zero Dawn remake? Why? I mean, I can see how they can improve some elements in that, but a remake? Really? Is that really necessary? I feel a little bit too much of Horizon we're getting here now. It was actually the same thing we're done with The Last of Us as well. For example, The Last of Us, uh, then The Last of Us Remastered, then The Last of Us Part 1 as being the remake, then The Last of Us Part 2, that's fine, but then The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. I would not be surprised in 5 to, to 7 years after from now we will see a The Last of Us Part 2 remake or something like that, I do not know. There are some speculations that perhaps maybe we'll see God of War Ragnarok coming finally on PC. And yet also uh, maybe something related to God of War uh, Ragnarok. That's standalone experience of a Atreus game that will actually get showcased. But we know for a fact that PlayStation will not have big heavy hitters of AAA caliber games in 2024. Even the very, 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 very first quarter of the 2025. So do not expect big things by that time as well. It kind of sucks, unfortunately. Even though we're not going to get big hitters big games and with big titles and such as that like triple a standards like really really big but nevertheless this is a showcase they can still do a lot of things here and perhaps let us be excited for the future of playstation and in this case perhaps maybe finally we could see and i hope so ghost of tsushima 2 because with the release of ghost of tsushima pc and it did so well I think it's actually a perfect opportunity to showcase and finally tease Ghost of Tsushima 2. I don't know. It really depends how Sucker Punch will decide to go about this. Now, of course, we have also Until Dawn Remake. I don't really see much of a reason for that to happen as well, but nevertheless. And of course, there's plenty of other things to be looking forward to, and I'm sure a lot of people will express their own feelings and thoughts as well. And on top of that, first party games and, you know, second party titles, third party games, just as such, basically going crazy with this reveal and this showcase. Man, I hope this actually will be a showcase, not a state of play. Nevertheless, we did have some fantastic state of plays, and unfortunately, some bad ones included. 
but I still feel that showcase would have been the best representation in this case since we are well coming up to summer and usually summer is a kind of like a Christmas for gamers if that makes sense you know what you know what I mean so it's just like oh man I cannot wait for this one particular game or this many other particular games just my thoughts Anyway guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of, of a chat regarding of the situation and uh, yeah, just sprinkle in and bring shine to this conversation or whatnot. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys all. Have a wonderful day.